dumb but is here to entertain you. It is very unfortunate that some people don't always like to see us happy. They don't like to see us succeed and they don't like to see us own what we rightfully deserve. But still, the same God who actually gave you what you deserve is going to actually make you to maintain that particular thing that you deserve and have rightful ownership over. In today's video, some union is calling for the abolition of the Zulu monarchy as they want King Misu Zulu down. They want him to be dethroned and they want him to go entirely out of the picture so that the rightful person who is supposed to ascend the throne according to them is supposed to come over. But according to the people, the Zulu people and the world at large, we know fully well that King Misu Zulu is the rightful heir to the throne of the Zulu people. Do well to watch this video right up to the end because we are about to dissect some very important and pertinent issues in today's video. Before detailing now this news to you, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel please, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. The General Industrial Workers Union of South Africa, Giwusa, says taxpayer funds should not be used to support traditional rulers. In a statement, the union demanded the elimination of all South African monarchies. The union claims that just the salaries paid to these traditional leaders cost the nation a whopping sum of 250 million rands, which actually is supposed to be so much money that can be done and invested back to the nation and gain very great results. There are so many poor people out there. Why not give this money to them instead than keep giving it to people who are already well to do? Speaking of the King Misuzulu Kazulatini certification ceremony, Giwusa said, and I quote, cost millions of taxpayer runs, standing in stark contrast to the horrendous conditions of life suffered by the great majority of Zulu working class people in whose name this new king is being coronated. Giusa added that there are more than 5,300 tribe chiefs and headsmen and women in addition to the primary traditional leaders and 844 senior traditional leaders spread over eight provinces already. As I quote, Honestly, they have no place in a democracy. We do think that in the RSA democracy, a public authority can only be wielded by those who are elected, accountable at the behest of the people. We are talking about an institution that is a wealthy society which contributes absolutely nothing but will power at the expense of ordinary people, says Giwusa's president, Mamedlue Sebei. This has actually taken social media aback because several people are really so pained at the fact that so many of these kings, these monarchs actually earn a very huge amount of money for no work done. Because if they actually are supposed to get paid from taxpayers' money, then they should definitely be contributing to the entire nation. But most of these kings and monarchs, if not all of them, contribute just to their particular envir environment. They help just their own people, their immediate people. For example, the Zulu monarch will only help the Zulu people and not South Africans as a whole. You will tell me what you have to say and think about all what is going on.